If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, become more, you are a leader. A very good evening to beloved Bala sir, directors, faculty members, and my dear student managers. It's a great honor for me to introduce and welcome our guest for the evening, Mr. Sahil Naya sir. Sir has completed his graduation in BMS from HR College of Commerce and Economics. He completed his MMS in Human Resources from the University of Mumbai, during which he was the topper of his specialization and he stood first in MMS. He also completed his education in Bachelors of Law, LLB, from the University of Mumbai. Sir has worked with Orbit Corporation Limited as a member of HR team at Orbit Handling, a generalist profile for one year, nine months. Sir is currently working with KPMG India as Senior Associate Director, Human Resources for managing the employee life cycle for the tax practice since eight years. Sir also holds Certificate of NLP Practitioner and, uh, from ANLP India and Certificate of MBTI practi Practitioner from CPP Asia Pacific. Sir, Sir has also published several articles. He is often invited by B-School IIMs, IITs as visiting faculties for guest lectures for HRM and marketing management specializations. Sir is known for his innovativeness, leadership skills, dedication towards his work, positive energy and enthusiasm. So, we the students of SBS are grateful to have you with us today and we look forward to have an interactive session. The stage is open. Check. All right. All right. Fantastic. Good evening, everyone. Please, I can't hear you. Please, I still can't hear you. Please, Fantastic. Now I know you guys are alive on a Saturday evening. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. So when I was here last year, I actually had a presentation, right? And I did a presentation on the board and I made it very interactive. I was pleasantly surprised because I had an activity to start off with where I needed everyone to take out their mobile phones. And exactly my point. And I was told, we are not allowed to get mobile phones in guest lectures. Exactly. And then I started a Mentimeter quiz online. And when everyone got to know it's anonymous, suddenly everyone started responding. And from nowhere, the phones came out like this. And they started responding. And then after two minutes, when the number went up to 500, people shamelessly took their phones out and said, Abhi kya right? But obviously, times have changed. And what I did one year back, I am not going to do today, right? Because at that point of time, I was an associate director. Now I'm a senior associate director. So no organization is going to pay you more money to do the same job. Yes or no? One thing that I've learned at Balaji is, you guys are fantastic at doing two things. One is clapping. Two is saying, yes, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. I still can't hear you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Right? And I did my homework and I said, okay, let me watch what has changed in Balaji for the last one year. So I went onto YouTube and I searched a couple of more videos. And one thing, irrespective of what the speaker is speaking, not speaking, if a question is asked, are you sleeping? You'll say, no, sir. Yeah? Are you enjoying? Yes, sir. So that has not changed with Balaji. Right? So the yes, sir, no, sir. And of course, the clapping has not changed, which is fantastic. But what needs to change, and I understand the batch has changed, but what needs to change is the fact that what we used to do yesterday, 
we can't continue doing today. So I used to use a PowerPoint, but today when the whole world is moving to storytelling and slowly you'll see my eyes going up in the balcony because I want to maintain eye contact with everyone. I know it's very difficult with 1000 plus people in this room, but I'm going to try my best. So with a PowerPoint last year, the whole world has moved to storytelling. And therefore, with all due respect to everyone who comes and shows you a PowerPoint, I firmly believe people who use PowerPoint are the ones who don't have power in their points. Until last year, I did the same, right? But today, if you use a PowerPoint, you don't have power in your points. And the reason why I say that is because the whole world is moving to storytelling. Now think about it this way, right? 1,000 people in this room. It is humanly not possible for each one of you to focus on me. There will be distractions, whether a mobile phone or not. Six o'clock, Saturday evening, the Pune party scenes are fantastic. You're sitting in a closed... No? Yes or no? Okay, so I see mixed reactions. But you're sitting in a closed, air-conditioned auditorium and you're caged with me for the next 45 minutes. So we have two choices. We have two choices. Choice number one is we can make it like any other session. And choice number two is we can have a lot of fun while learning. What do you want? One or two? two. One or two? two? I can't hear you. No. I still can't hear you. No. All the people in the balcony. No. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is choice number two. And while I get on choice number two activated for you, I need all of you to please stand up. This play this. <laughs> okay, can you hear? Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Hey, it's a yes, sir. Can I have the music, please?
a question you can ask some of the volunteers, take a mic in the audience if you can. Just take one mic in the audience. Put your hand up, a mic will come to you. I need to ask you, listen to the question carefully. Why did I play this song? Put your hand up, a mic will come to you. Where? Somebody there? Yeah, right there. Now, Chris, go, let the mic come to you so everyone can hear you. Why did I play this song? Huh? Huh? I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Huh? Oh, that's it. You're right there? Go for it. To get emotionally connected to us. To get emotionally connected to you. I am still straight. So, so you are emotionally connected. Good point. Thank you. So, Where so you. What you are doing to us today? No, 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 no. So. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let people be in a position to want to listen to you. When there's silence, you talk, so everyone hears you. Go for it. What you are doing to us today's lecture? Positive attitude towards today's lecture. Yes, ma'am. The song itself was questioning us. Do we know? Ah, give a huge round of applause. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Sir, maybe so, because it's a Saturday evening, that's why. It's a Saturday evening, okay. So, you wanted to do different things, sir. I wanted to do different things. Yes, sir, yeah. Okay, do different things, okay. No, no, three, two, three, four answers. Yeah. Let the mic move very right quickly. The last two wants the mic right there. Someone in the balcony? Yeah. The mic is on. We can hear you. Sir, because. Uh, from starting till now, all the guest lectures uh, we all have watched. The most you di just did this to make it 10x times more interactive than it is. Okay. So, so you wanted everyone to be more active. Everyone be more active. Okay. My 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 words. Sorry about that. Anyone else here? This who is exhausted. Okay. One last person, and then we move forward. Yeah. Sir, so maybe because it's your favorite song. Ah, okay, great. Fuck it. Okay. Now let's go back, right? Why did I ask you to clap for the lady right here and not for everyone else? So many, right? Pushy Odaya Sanoda. Question now. Don't be mad. Why did I ask you to clap for the lady here and not for all the other answers? Sorry? She gave the correct answer. What was correct about her answer? Do you know? Yeah? Okay, now think about this. Everyone else who answered, saying emotional connect, you wanted to make it 10x interactive, you wanted to get to know us, you wanted to be participative, were all right answers, but to the wrong question. What was the question? Why did I play this song? It's not, I could have played any song, right? It's such a wonderful weather, I could have played Kaila <laughs> I didn't play Parasha, I played this song and therefore the question was Why did I play this song? And I played this song because this is a general knowledge song. Why is it a general knowledge song? That's a sad joke, you don't have to laugh. It's a general knowledge song because it keeps saying you know. And why is this called B school? and not college or university or degree program, it's called B school because this is exactly the place where you need to go back to your basics and ask 
all the fundamental questions of human law. You have to ask all those basic fundamental questions of knowing the norm. Because while I may have done my homework and I may know that Balaji behaves in a particular way, I still might not know a number of things that you know more than me. And remember one thing, every single person sitting in this room knows one thing more than you know. You agree? Yes. And just imagine what a fantastic platform Balaji is giving you where not just one thousand but thousands and thousands of students come to this university. And what do we end up doing at the end of two years? Form a group of five close friends. Form a group of three roommates. Form a group of 10 people who we like going and watching movies with or hanging out together. And if you don't attend a single lecture, I'm not advocating that, but I'm just saying, even if you don't attend a single lecture, but in the next 100 days, in the next 100 days, if you can figure out and meet the 1000 people in this auditorium and learn one new thing from them that you don't know. Just imagine your ROI on your fees. Just imagine. It is given to you on a platform. All you need to do is make the most of it. All you need to do is make the most of it. I'm going to tell you a little bit more, right? So think about it this way. When I was growing up, and like each one of you, we had this perennial dilemma in our head. And the dilemma was, should I play more or should I go back home and study and do my homework in school? What did we end up doing more? Play more, right? It was a decision between a so-called right and a wrong and balancing it. As we grew up and started doing our 12, our graduation, our 10 plus, we had to make a choice. Should I take science? Should I take commerce? Should I take arts? How many of us, let's be honest to ourselves, took a decision of taking a particular stream because our friends were taking it? Because our friends were taking it. Fantastic. You see that? Now, is that a right decision or a wrong decision? I'm not standing in judgment. But what I'm trying to tell you is you made a choice. And basis that choice, each one of us will experience the consequence of that choice. And that will stay with us for a lifetime. Because choices ensure consequences. And therefore, it is very important, whenever we have an option to choose, we should choose very wisely. The problem in today's fast-paced world, and a lot of people will come and talk to you about artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things, digital, everyone will come and talk to you about that. But my biggest dilemma that I want to leave you with is the world has changed. No longer will you have to make a choice between right and wrong. We all are living in a world today where we need to make a choice between a right and a right. And both are right. And therefore, how do we find out which is the better right? And trust me, those decisions aren't easy. They are extremely difficult because there are two rights. And that is when your true test of character actually surfaces. So all the subjects that you study in the next two years, fantastic. You may get the highest CGPA score. It won't matter. Because that is only one aspect, which is knowledge. How do you work on that knowledge 
link it to a skill and supplement it with the right attitude. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Great. Now think about it this way. You have two rights and you need to make a choice between two rights. If you understood what I've said so far, I want someone to volunteer from the audience and give me an example of two rights. Anyone? Do cheeses are you have to say that you have to eat a food and you have to eat a food. It's a difficult question on a Saturday evening, but we need to think yes. Can I have a mic go across to him very quickly? Is there a mic? Yes, my friend. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name, and then tell us what your answer is. Mike's working. Good evening, sir. I'm Sahil Vettar, and uh, my answer is that uh, we are having the uh, exam of uh, statistics and accounts, and uh, before the exam, the college is uh, taking us to Lonavala. So, both are the right decisions to go to Lonavala and either take the uh, uh, holiday and study for the exams. Okay. So, both are right. Yeah. So, you take a holiday and study for the exam, right? And if you go to Lonavala, also it's right. It's right. So, which one will you choose and why? Take a holiday and study for the exam. <laughs> and why would you do that? Why would you make that choice? Because they are not uh, got time to study. Because they are not got time to study. So that one day is very important to you so that you pass the exam. Yes, sir. Pass or come first? School. School. Yeah. Which is marks. Marks. Marks is important to you? Yes, sir. Very important? Yes, sir. Why? <laughs> Are you lost your question? Why is marks important to you? Because I want to stand out. You want to stand out? Now, stand out. Please stop, please stop. In the meantime, pass the mic to the guy in the last room. He wanted to say something. What is the dilemma of choosing field from marketing or finance? Both are right for us. Both are right? Yes. But you don't know what you want to do? <coughs> Not actually. Okay, so you have a dilemma between choosing two subjects and your specialization. Specialization. Okay, fantastic. Who else? Where are you? Yes. Uh, I'll substantiate with my own example. Fantastic. Uh, I have a choice to further pursue CS final and MBA. Okay. So I took MBA first priority and further I'll be choosing CS final with my workings. Alright. So how was it two rights? It is a two right decision since I was going in a good pace in that professional degree also. Uh -huh. But the need of the hour was to pursue with widening my horizon. Of the subject knowledge. All right. So I pursue. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you. Can someone else give you an example? Two rights. Yes. The lady right here in yellow. Swayam, Swayam. Mine is right up, my friend. You're too lost. Bring that mine right here so we can give it to your friend on stage. Hello, sir. I'm Amisha Diani. Hi. Uh, generally, uh, when we are younger, then people ask, Mommy, I should like to hear Papa. Both are right. <laughs> Mine has to be yours. He has to only help you. Sir, he is saying that marks represent your knowledge. That's what uh, they are important. is much better than this, yeah. Yes, yes or no? Yes, sir. Where is the yes, sir? Come on, Amishi, very quickly. Save Sahil. Hi. In our river, he's very good guy. Then we have a great presentation. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Question is, why are marks important? Actually, sir, 
there is a contradiction uh. marks because uh, don't talk to me talk to them actually guys uh, we have seen the presentations over here the lot many uh, guys those who have presented their presentation they are maybe uh, lacking in their academics but they are having good presentation skill and still they are on stage so i don't think so mark carry that much of importance <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. My name is Ishan Khan. Uh, sir, marks is important because we are in the end standard. So our parents used to say that if you want to score good marks, you won't get a good college. So when you are in 10th, you have to get a good college. You have to score. When you are in 12th, if you want a good graduation, uh, if you want a good college graduation, you have to score a good mark. Otherwise, you won't get a college. In PG, if you want. To get an IIM and any other big top big schools, you right. have to score a good marks. So okay, I understood why marks are important. Good answer. Now tell me, sir. sir. Hey, what? Good evening, sir. Good evening. I think you know. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, Josh. You're so enthusiastic. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm Piyushi, and I think in our country, marks is one of the criteria to prove marks. It's only one of the criteria. Okay. My question is: Is marks the only criteria? No, no sir. That's a decent. What else is important? Attitude. Communication. Okay. Experience. All right. What else is important? Skills. Knowledge. Soft skills. Okay. You know the balance. What else is important? Sir, 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 the practical knowledge. Practical knowledge. Yes, okay. sir. To be creative. To be creative. Fantastic. Yes, sir. Okay. And do all of you have it? Yes. I don't get a strong yes. All right. If you don't, there's nothing to worry because the next two years. Are all about building everything that you spoke. <coughs> your college will do as much as your college can do, but you yourself are responsible <laughs> for your own life, and therefore each one of you need to take it upon yourself to make a difference. You will actually become a better version of yourself every single day. Because motivation is like having a bath. Motivation, नहाने जैसा है. How often do you need to have bath? Every day. You don't have bath every day. What will happen? Okay. You know what will happen. And therefore, motivation can either be from outside or from within. You need to find the right balance to keep yourself motivated, so that every single day counts. And more important than that, you make every single day count. Otherwise, every day will come, it will go. The sun will rise, the sun will set, the day will get over, and before you realize. You will actually pass out from this institute with a degree, which is of course guaranteed. But what might not be guaranteed is is basements. What might not be guaranteed is good lifestyle. What might not be guaranteed is the value of the degree. So the degree will be guaranteed, 
but what might not be guaranteed will be the value of the degree. And therefore, it is very important that you make each day count. Now think about it this way. We are sitting here, we are having a great dress lecture. Yes. Fast forward this 20 years. And I am hopeful that each person sitting on this chair, 20 years later, will be at a very good position in very good organizations across the globe. And when that happens, have you actually built a great bond and relationship so that at the end of 20 years or 20 years later, you can simply call up a classmate and say, I need help. And that classmate will help you without giving excuses. That bond, that relationship, you need to start building today. And I'll give you a quick mantra of how to build that bond. How many of you all like to be good? Like to be good people? Good people? Fantastic. How many of you all like to be nice people? You want to be nice people? Fantastic. How many of you didn't put your hand up for any? Okay, you didn't put your hand up for you want to be good, you want to be nice also. You want to be the best? Yes, sir. Okay. But what you need to ask me in this example is what is the difference between good and nice? Right? And that is very important. Because being nice to someone is all about on the face. But being good to someone also means telling that person, you know what, you need to work on this. You know what, this is what you need to do differently next time. Which also may be at the cost of you spoiling that relationship, it may be at the cost of someone else feeling bad. It may be at the cost of you actually hurting someone's feelings if you don't do it the right way. But it is better to be good than to be nice. I have seen so many videos, and again I'm going back to the videos because I've done a lot of homework, of people standing here <coughs> talking for almost one hour and you guys in the audience getting bored yawning away, sleeping, okay, may not be this batch but the previous batch is sleeping, okay, and the camera has zoomed in, <laughs> so thanks to our wonderful cameraman, it's zoomed in, now think about this this way, right, the number of times you have said sir, why do you call me sir by the way, <laughs> respect, okay, why, respect, why do you call me sir, Respect. Why do you call me sir? Huh? Seniority. Okay. Why do you call me sir? Sir and etiquette. Etiquette. Okay. Why do you call me sir? Salutation. Think about it this way, right? You keep calling me sir and you're sitting in that audience and whoever you're calling sir over here, but you're sitting in the audience and saying, <laughs> Do you see the difference? And therefore, while I may not hear that or 100 people who come and talk to you may not hear that, the person sitting next to you knows that you are saying Kya hai? Okay? And actually you are calling him sir, which is a complete farce which is a complete farce. So if the person standing here, and the person here could be anybody, it could be an industry person, it could be a faculty, it could be a guest lecturer, whatever it may be. If you are getting bored, and I see a lot of people are actually feeling hot, and they are swaying their notebooks, and if I can request some of the coordinators to get the AC stepped up because people are feeling hot, you need to ask for it. That notebook will not help you as much as you just putting up your hand and saying sorry Sahil but we are really sweating at the back thank you, you let us remove our ties but we are still sweating and we have the AC stepped up <coughs> unless you don't ask, you won't get 
And if you keep sitting there and say the dialogue that you just said, what will end up happening is you will start creating two sahils like we just had some time ago. <laughs> and there will be a mask. And that mask that you put will actually stop you from being yourself. And the more number of days that you wear that mask, the more difficult it will be for you to go back to your original self. And therefore my request to you is, be as genuine and as authentic as you can be to yourself. Because the day you don't do that, let me tell you, the person on the other side can very easily notice that. Can very easily notice that. Right? And that is the fundamental difference between being good and being nice. Because being nice is all about lip service, but being good is about being authentic. I spoke to you about the double bind, which is choosing between two rights. I spoke to you about good versus nice. And the last piece, before I'm happy to take as many questions as you have, because I believe let's make it truly interactive and then finally end with some Pera Nasha. And see you. <laughs> so it's good to have fun, but it's also good to have at least one single takeaway from each of these sessions, right? The third story that I want to tell you is be absolutely realistic. Day one out of campus, you're not going to do strategy. Day one out of campus, your company is not going to send you to London. Okay? I started out my role actually learning how to file papers in a file. And I did that for three to six months. All I was doing was filing papers. And at that point of time, I asked myself, Are you still an MBA here? But today, when I look back, that learning has really helped because being in human resources, I read every single paper that I filed. So when I met my employees, I exactly knew who has studied from where, who have they got married to, what are the name of their children. And when I had a conversation with someone, I made it a very, very personalized conversation. And people were surprised. Are you a spy? How do you know my daughter's name? And that is the secret. The secret is all about having meaningful relationships that matter. Because at the end of the day, if I do a simple poll of it here and I ask you, what does happiness mean to you? Every single person will give you a different answer. Some will say it's success. Some will say it's money. Some will say it's a good job in my dream company. Some will say I want to clear the exam. And therefore, if everyone has a different definition of success, how do you ensure that the next 720 days you make every single day count? I do this every single weekend at various colleges across the country because it makes me very happy. And therefore, my request to you is, this is not just a one-time guest lecture or a seminar or a conference. I am available on LinkedIn. If you need any help at any point in time, I am happy to help you in your journey as each one of you become successful human beings. I'm now going to pause. As I do this every weekend, the first hand to go up to ask a question takes anywhere between 45 seconds to 90 seconds. The question is, can Balaji break the timeline of 45 seconds? Wow, that's almost like 3 seconds. Yeah. No question is a stupid question. When someone asks the question, my request is, please listen attentively because you may find answers in the question that someone else has asked. Same rule, please tell us your name, 
and keep your question very specific so I can give you a specific answer. Hello, sir. I'm Sakshi Sethi. Sakshi, can you call me Sahil? Hello, Sahil, sir. Sakshi, can you call me Sahil? Hello, Sahil. Fantastic. You know why it's so difficult? Because there's something known as conditioning. We are conditioned in a particular way. And the whole world today is about agility. In a particular situation, if you can't change yourself, trust me, you won't be relevant. So, Sakshi, Sahil for you. Go for it. My first question to you is, what do you do on a routine basis to build into other leaders? What do I do on a routine basis to? To build into other leaders. To build into. What does that mean? Uh, what are you doing on a daily basis to make someone as a leader? Oh, fantastic. So you're saying, what do I do on a regular basis to build more leaders, yeah. right? I just told you a couple of minutes ago, I spend my entire weekend, Saturday and Sunday, across colleges. I don't restrict myself to only IIMs or IITs. Places like Balaji, uh, JBIMS in Bombay, Sydney, Amity, you name the college and I would have covered most of the colleges in the country. Only to give them a perspective because I have sat there not very long ago. I exactly know that it is not easy. And I, you know, it's really difficult sitting there and listening to someone here, especially when the person here doesn't make sense. My intent is to give some pearls of wisdom and therefore if each one of you can have just one single takeaway from this session and implement in your lives, I think I would have built a leader in you. Because so much a God body cheese will be. Exact time when you feel to motivate the team. Okay, so there are two, three things which are very scientifically proven when you get diagnosis, right? So when you meet a doctor, a doctor will tell you, how much you have to symptoms, right? And you'll say, Bukhar, ye ho hai, wo ho hai, whatever. And that is my fundamental question to say, when you have a crocine, how does a crocine look is sit with that or a pan with that or a? Have you ever thought about it? <laughs> How does a crocine know that the salt, which is a paracetamol, exactly knows that it's in the or in the It doesn't right. It just acts. And similarly, in your team, you will have all kinds of people. You will have someone who is always in the who we call the enthu cutlet, like that friend right on top. <laughs> You have those kind of people. Do they need motivation regularly? No. They need help to channelize that energy positively. Because if you don't help them with that, that same energy can become negative energy. Then there are some people on the other end of the spectrum who are always demotivated. <laughs> Right? Some people are like that. And then there are some people who are mixed, sometimes motivated when whatever happens the way they want it. And some people who are very, very demotivated when things don't go their way. So different strategies for different people, different folks, different strokes. So I will use a different stroke for a different folk. But the point is, how do you get that diagnosis right? And if you get the diagnosis right, you will have different strategies for different people. As I told you, someone highly motivated, channelize that energy in a very productive way. Someone ranting, crying, cribbing all the time, find a way to make that person see a better side of life, right? Someone, I've seen so many people born with a silver spoon, right? And they don't understand what pain is. They just don't understand it because parents say Mercedes, they, so Mercedes, they college, and there are a lot of colleges in Bombay 
where the children, and this is especially for the faculty who are doing the faculty development program here. <coughs> children come to that B school in Audis, in Mercs, in BMWs. And the faculty takes a local train and comes. These students believe that they have actually, and I'm using the word bought, the faculty, you can make fees for that. So, jo hum bolenge, aap ho padaoge. That's the kind of behavior. And one of those faculty called me and said, Sahil, you came for a guest lecture. I can't believe we had set a lecture for one hour and they actually heard you for three hours, patiently, without making any nuisance. How did you do it? And I said, if you're facing a challenge, I'm happy to help you. And what I did was, I planned a small outbound for those 60 students. <laughs> and I took them to Tata Cancer Hospital. That's all I did. That's all I did. And I said, we're going for an outbound. Everybody was very happy. They all got their Mercedes, their BMWs, filled with alcohol. Because they said, we're going to go in the rains, go trekking, going drinking, having a great time. When they got their cars, I said, you just take a slight detour. Took them to South Bombay, took them to Tata Cancer Hospital. And I said, ah, let's go visit the ward. And believe you me, they were stunned. Because they had never seen a life like that. All they had seen was when they do pot, or when they do hookah, or when they do something else and they go for a movie, they see smoking pills. That ad they see for only 10 seconds and they don't even pay attention to that. When they really saw real people in various stages of cancer, that moment was a moment that, I'm not saying it worked and it's still working, but in that moment, they realized that another side to life also exists. Is that motivation? Is that demotivation? I don't know. Point I'm trying to make is different strokes for different folks. Does it answer your question? Thank you. Are we good on time? Do we have to? Okay. Yes, next question. Nandi Praji. Hello, sir. My Dasso. name is Harshpeet Singh. Dasoji. As you said, you like, you like stories, you like storytelling. Uh, so my question is, what are the challenges you face in your path uh, of becoming senior associate actor HR from, uh, from a place of file paging in office? From a page of? File, uh, uh, filing papers in the office. Oh, fantastic. So you're saying, what are the challenges that I face? What are the challenges you face? Yes, what are the challenges I face? So if I have to summarize, <laughs> sit, sit, please sit. If I have to summarize my entire 10 year corporate career in terms of the two or three key challenges that I faced, one key challenge was I am a person who gets bored very easily. Very easily. Which is the biggest negative of mine. I get bored very easily. Alright. Every time I would work on a project, I would reach till here and when it is the final stage, I would say third night. <laughs> Until and unless I didn't get till here, this didn't matter. So from here to here, what mattered was the chase. Because I love the chase. <laughs> and by the time I realized that I'm going to win huh? Six overs, five runs to score, three wickets in hand, Jeet Jayenge. Then I said, okay, I won the game. But I had actually not won the game. There was one instance when I gave you the same example, six overs, five runs, three wickets in hand. Everyone thought this guy's going to win and I lost. And that day, I will I realized the very important lesson of my life that you can never ever take anything for granted. You can never ever take anything for granted. And therefore, you have to be at it till it is done. Otherwise, what will happen is your strength becomes your weakness. Challenge number one. Challenge number two. 
every person in the team has a role to play and not everyone is like you. The day you start celebrating the differences in people is the day you will bring the best out of them. If I start finding clones of myself in everyone, that this is not just like me. If I'm sitting at night at 11 o'clock, I'm doing a job at 11 o'clock, why would I go to bed at 5 o'clock? Maybe she's left and gone at 5, and that's again a stereotype which you need to be sensitive about. But after going home at 5 and after finishing whatever she had to finish, she locked in at 11 o'clock and gave me that one idea that took me from here to here. And I sat 7 hours, 6 hours in the office trying to scratch my head for that idea but I didn't get it. And therefore, everyone in the team is special. And you need to be able to bring out that best in everyone. And coming to the other girl's question, that is exactly how you create more leaders. Because only if you bring out the best in everyone, will you actually be a true leader. Challenge number three, you should never ever be insecure. Never. It's very easy to say. Multiple times in my career, I actually felt a naya. I had this whole concept which in our language as millennials, we call it FOMO. You know what FOMO is? Fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. I was actually a victim of fear of missing out. Yeah, what is it? 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 You are here for a reason. That person is there for a reason. While you are here, instead of worrying about that and making it a potential challenge, Make the best of what is here. And that really helped me giving my 100% in the moment rather than going back to my first challenge of getting bored and saying, I'm going to go to Balaji, I'm going to go to Balaji, I'm going to go to Simboises. My mind is already thinking of Simboises. It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, but Simboises is going to go to Balaji, but I is B and M in Baju. I'm going to go to Balaji. क्या बोलते हो मामी साला जाओ बट लास्ट में इनविटेशन आया नहीं बट डॉक्टर प्रमोद कुमार तो मेरे बेस्ट फ्रेंड है तो मैं उनको फोन करके बोल दूंगा कि साइड इज इन टू ना वो बोले कि मिड नाइट सेशन तुम्हारे लिए ऑर्गेनाइज करता हूँ अरे बट कल तो संडे है चलो पांच और कॉलेज पूना में पूना में कॉलेज की कमी थोड़ी है एंड देन मंडे मॉर्निंग आई एम एक्चुअली यॉनिंग एट वर्क बिकॉज आई एम नॉट गॉट इनफ रेस्ट यू रेडी व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सो हाउ डू यू रियली बैलेंस इट आउट टू बी एट द राइट प्लेस एट द राइट टाइम विद द राइट थिंग Yes. Good evening, sir. My name is Arjun. Arjun Sahil. So, like, uh, Arjun you Sahil. Sahil. Uh, so, so you're not saying it. So, you're Sahil. Good evening, Sahil. <laughs> so, like, like, you talked about uh, how our mind is conditioned, and you even talked about perception. So, sir, my question is like, many people come and they talk about one's That's perception true. towards life, That's towards true. situations, and That's everyone true. comes here and says about positive That's things. True. We have That's to. True. Yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> so, like you talked about, like we have to think positive. Many people come and they say that we have to think positive, positive approach towards life. But our sir, mind is conditioned in such a way that. So, uh, Sahil, our mind is conditioned in such a way that it's full of fear. First, we were afraid about marks, then about we'll be afraid about placements and everything. So, how to change the perception from deep within that we can actually think positive and have different perspective towards life? That's a brilliant question. So the last question which we have. Absolutely. The last question, and I'll take 30 seconds to answer that. Thank you. Arshun, if you and I decide along with 10 other people from this batch to go and rob a bank, we will be successful. Because the point that's trying to drive us is a negative point. But if 1,000 people come and clean Juhu Beach every Sunday, the first Sunday I will have around 900 people. The Sunday after that I will have 600. Then I will have 500, 200, 100, 50, 10. End with who am I meet Safkarin? Why? Because over a period of time, everyone will start finding excuses. And you find an excuse for a reason for not doing something. 
But the day you decide you want to do it, the word called excuse doesn't exist in your dictionary. As human beings, based on neuroscience, as human beings, each one of us are made in a particular way where we naturally gravitate towards negativity. Naturally. If we don't want to do it, then we think, what will happen? If you don't get the job, then the job is not. If you don't get the job, then the career is not. If you don't get the career, then the money is not. If you don't get the money, then the education is not. It is a natural phenomena to gravitate towards negativity. What's the solution? The solution is to inject yourself with insulin every single day. How do you do it? You do it with the things that you love the most. What makes you come alive? Do exactly that. And you don't need to talk about positive versus negative. Just do what makes you come alive. One thing I have learned is you cannot get happiness from everything. I've seen a lot of people who come to work. They come to work because they need the money. They come to work because they want to make friends. They come to work because they want job satisfaction. They come to work because they want to improve their CV. They come to work because they have great colleagues to work with. They come to work because of the quality of work. One thing that I have realized is one place cannot give you everything. And therefore, you need to find different avenues for different things. What gives me money is my job. Just as an example. What makes me come alive is sessions like these. When I am completely knocked off in the head, what makes me happy is getting onto my bullet, putting my headphones on, listening to amazing music, and going for a long breakfast ride. What makes me even more happy is to go on treacherous roads. What makes me, and I'm really, really sad, what makes me bounce up is a challenge. Sahil, you can't do this. Okay, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So different people will find different ways in which they can come alive. Find those moments for yourself. So that every time somebody or some situation pulls you down, you automatically bounce back. Yeah? Does it answer your question? <laughs> All right, I think so we're running out of time. We have our next speaker here as well. Uh, so I want to thank everyone. I think you were a fantastic audience. Thank you.